Hello, Tech Sanders with the Light Zone Project, and this is a brief video about the editor module only. Just the different aspects of it. Details of the editor module I will handle in separate videos. So here's the basic way it looks. Here's your image pane. Over here on this side, you have your area for your tool stack. You have your tool icons in this little menu bar here and up at the top here you have a preview pane and this will show either zones or color mask or your histogram or your sampler again I'll talk about these in a separate video over here on the other side we have the history tab open and this shows the history of all your edits I've been playing around with this image opening and closing certain things so that's why it shows all this stuff there's also a Styles tab. That has its own little preview pane, and when you scroll down over the different styles, you see that preview pane is changing and shows you sort of what things are going to look like. You can resize this image window like that. I have now put this into Fit. I'm going to magnify a little bit and notice this red box has appeared inside this white rectangle down in the lower right hand corner of your image pane when you grab that click it and grab it you can see you move that red box around and you move around in the image if I go to fit that disappears I can drag this bar across like this and diminish the size of these areas this one I can expand a little bit and underneath this there's another little drag bar and that'll expand that up and down like this but you can diminish all these things by clicking on their tabs and then it's just your image and then you click on the tabs again and whatever you click on reappears up here is the main menu bar for the editor module. You've got an undo and redo button, a revert button, a done, an original, a proof, rotate back and forth, the zoom tools, your cursor selector. You have the crop and rotate modes and your regents mode. There will be separate small videos on all of these things uh, to explain them and um, up here is the main menu bar and depending on whether you're in browser mode or editor mode uh, is whether things are showing white or gray. In the editor module, most everything's showing white, but it won't be the same in the browser module. So that's a very quick walk around the editor module. It's very simple, very user friendly, and adjustable according to your needs in your workflow. 